So first of all, thank you for the invitation for this uh, very good conference. So the title for my presentation is High Quality Hand Using the Data System. Uh, this is quite vague because this is not, no, of course, this is HANI, but uh, we uh, we have we hidden in, inside many things, uh, mainly regarding you know, I, IoT and automation. If we go to the rationale of this project, uh, we are in a consortium of uh, my company, this is Vivende, uh, Life Science University in Poznan, uh, Ministry of Agriculture in Poland, uh, and to uh, other uh, farmers in Białystok and uh, in Silnowo, uh, not, 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 not northern part of Poland. And uh, uh, why we are working with this project? Because we see uh, significance. So here, you know, uh, I have shown you a few figures regarding uh, how important is agriculture and nature all together and species. species uh, so I will not be uh, giving, you know, in, in details these figures because you know that. But uh, for us, you know, for people, for tourists, uh, uh, for for farmers, this is very important to, to make a balance between white pollinators and uh, honeybees. So we see how it, how it is important and uh, how much data we should uh, analyze, but we are not able to, to come up with proper uh, proper solutions. So in, in terms of significance, uh, we are working with the system uh, to, to combat with, uh, with the pathogens. Uh, so we are looking at the biotic and a, uh, abiotic uh, factors uh, and stressors. Uh, because you know mortality uh, among our bees in Europe it's very huge, uh, especially you know during last over the last few years, this is more than 30 30 percent, uh, which is uh, absolutely amazing uh, and negative. So this the second thing, job creation, number of bee beekeepers in EU this is uh, more than six hundred thousand, and uh, we are aiming at seven percent of those beekeepers. Uh, to use our system, which is a very ambitious ambitious goal, but uh, uh, this goal is to be achieved uh, in five years. So I think this is achievable. Uh, the third thing is, you know, global crop yields uh, to, to help keeping the decrease level less than 10%. The fourth is uh, uh, to halt uh, declining of pollinators to keep at least the level of 2022. Of course, we are not able to, to halt because we are only one company and uh, and few universities, but uh, we are going to uh, to prepare uh, procedures for uh, for people, for beekeepers, for farmers, and for universities and veterinaries to get rid of negative factors, and uh, of course uh, establish biodiversity rich landscape. Uh, so this is uh, the same as as above. Regarding IT system. So artificial intelligence plays an, an important role in our implementation. So as we see, uh, this is very rapid growth in world. Right now, we are talking about AI in all aspects of our life. Uh, I am a little bit uh, surprised that, uh, not, not really surprised, we are surprised that AI is uh, right now everywhere. And uh, we have uh, many talks uh, with our professors, you know, how much and how deeply we can interfere in species life. And this is, you know, very difficult to find the proper balance. But uh, in, in our case, we are going to provide with uh, procedures to, to protect uh, many white pollinators and to, to find out, uh, you know, proper balance and procedures regarding uh, nature and biodiversity. Significance. This is a few facts of economy. So honey harvest workload reduction by at least 20%. So workload, I see, uh, I show you uh, a little bit later uh, what we gonna uh, implement, deploy by using our system, what sort of innovation we do have. The second, API running cost effectiveness by 21% using hardware to combat mites and uh, uh, varroa, for, for instance, and American uh, full brood, uh, so which is uh, a very big problem in, in Poland and in Europe. And uh, uh, other, you know, uh, also uh, problems uh, 
and this is uh, coming from uh, southern part of Europe and uh, northern part of Africa, uh, which uh, it's not a problem yet in, uh, in our region, but we have to be prepared for knowledge database. Uh, so we are collecting all this data regarding uh, our bees, uh, white pollinators, nature, uh, pesticides, uh, and we do analyze it. Increasing EU production of honey, increasing EU number of beekeepers, increasing EU number of beehives. Of course, uh, regarding the point, point number seven, increasing EU number of beekeepers, uh, it's, it is a little bit vague because we have to take uh, into uh, consideration a current situation regarding you know, market uh, producers in China and uh, uh, producers in, uh, in Ukraine which are sending a lot of honey to, to, uh, to our market, to European market. And that, that right now we have a problem how to protect it and how to, uh, my, uh, how to build the uh, proper procedures uh, in order to, to work with them efficiently uh, and not to destroy everything, but at the same time to protect our, our farmers and beekeepers. So main objectives of our project is to develop and implement uh, uh, IT system, including AI uh, component. Of course, by using this, we're going to support biodiversity and protect, protect this biodiversity. Uh, Why uh, keeping in mind farm to fork strategies, which is uh, this strategy is very important in European Commission uh, to preserve biodiversity, info data. Uh, we're going to build uh, databases with uh, Polish University, store those data and analyze in one place. Uh, the technical implementation and uh, stakeholders. Uh, so for technical implementation, we have, uh, no, mm, so our value proposition uh, shortly. So, so this is quite nice uh, slide showing, you know, where we are and what, what we're going to achieve. Uh, we start with our system. Uh, sorry, first of all, we start with uh, nature. We start with uh, white pollinators. We start with bee keep, uh, bee, uh, honeybees. Then uh, we collected this information, the information of their life in, uh, regarding uh, taking into account our system, uh, including also green energy uh, infrastructure we're going to use for. And uh, by using this, we are going to be, build a solid infrastructure AI and IT to analyze, analyze all those data. By analyzing those data, we're going to produce procedures for veterinaries, for universities. Uh, my, my, my daughter. <laughs> Uh, for so veterinaries, universities, uh, but also we have other stakeholders like beekeepers, but uh, you, uh, insurers and banks. Uh, and if we go to our our stack of application infrastructure, which is uh, so, this is my people are working with. Uh, the, more, or, more or less, I I I, I told you uh, why, why uh, how it look like uh, looks like. Uh, so I will not be spending too much time on that. Uh, this is uh, here uh, our system, which is already being elaborated, uh, working in production, uh, but there is one missing, not finished yet module of the system. This is artificial intelligence. So uh, in our system, we are going to use uh, not only IT, but IT will be feeding by uh, data from sensors. So, uh, sorry for this is in Polish. Uh, we didn't translate yet, uh, but uh, I will translate you. So, sensors uh, for temperature, humidity, weight, activity, and sound. For us, the most important sensor is sound, oh, of course, and video. So, we are going to 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 have uh, uh, cameras inside and to 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 see how. Uh, what is the behavior of of uh, of the family inside the beehive? Uh, but for us, the most important is the sound sensor. Uh, right now, we have five, but the ultimate goal uh, in our system infrastructure is to only have one, uh, maximum two. So weight is quite important to to, to see how much honey we have inside. 
uh, beehive and sound. By using sound, we're gonna analyze the data regarding you know, the, the whole families, uh, regarding you know, the queen, how they behave, what is the activity, and even disease, uh, what sort of disease uh, this is inside the uh, in, in beehive. Uh, but this is very, very difficult. Uh, we are already got the information from, from our IT guys in our company that, uh, you know, sound it's, uh, uh, you know, bees uh, sound differently uh, in different, you know, life cycles. Like for instance, queen is, go is going to, uh, to be free and going to be out. So uh, the queen is singing differently. So by, by analyzing the sound, we are able to, uh, uh, to be prepared for such activity uh, and act uh, properly and uh, on time. Uh, so the system is uh, not only for AI and high level analysis, uh, but it's also dedicated for uh, simple beekeepers. Uh, we uh, we are providing the system for, for beekeepers. I show you uh, real life. Uh, so, so this is Dami. Yeah, we have, so, so I will log in. This is Dami system. Uh, uh, in our system, you can see all APIs in Poland and abroad. Uh, uh, with a, a single beehive, and for for beehives we have all this uh, data. I have told you, um, while presenting. So temperature, humidity, weight, uh, sound, and singing. Uh, all this data regard, you know, our system of automation and and uh, and camera. Yeah. Uh, then uh, all this data are being uh, sorry, I shall just uh, uh, are being analyzed and we, and we see uh, uh, data structures in this way, so we can prepare it. Also, we have inspections, which is uh, absolutely uh, important for our uh, beekeepers mm, because you know, uh, our beekeepers uh, they have to inspect. Uh, in this in the season at least uh, four up to six times apres uh, which is very time consuming and uh, they spend a lot of time they they make notes uh, which is also time consuming and uh, unnecessary task so in in our system we have uh, uh, the feature uh, speech to uh, the speech to text so uh, the beekeeper is is having you know iPhone, no, not smartphone, sorry, not iPhone, smartphone. Uh, smartphone, and to the smartphone is, so if our application is uh, is talking in Polish language uh, uh, right now about this inspection, and the system is uh, sending this information to this particular part of the system, and uh, this is autom autom automatically done uh, for every single beehive. <laughs> so it takes a maximum uh, two hours instead of instead of uh, one 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 whole day. So the workload it is absolutely amazing uh, in terms of hours. So we have reports and uh, feeding. So a warehouse. So all this information regarding apiary, regarding you know health, uh, regarding inspection uh, and uh, warehouse and economy. How much? Uh, uh, how many do we have uh, all this information regarding queens, uh, uh, species, uh, uh, size of apiary, it is here and uh, we can uh, easily uh, manage uh, manage the stuff. If there is problem, our system in general is dedicated for um, beekeepers which have more than 200 uh, beehives, but it can be uh, sold to everyone, but uh, we're gonna also support this uh, uh, this uh, APRs uh, by consulting, by sending, you know, uh, helping them uh, analyzing those data. But, but in order to analyze those data, uh, we have to wait a little bit because uh, this project is not finished yet. Uh, uh, this is to be finished uh, end of next year. 
So right now, uh, in terms of technology automation, uh, technical stuff, we are ready 90%. In terms of artificial intelligence, we are ready 30%. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, room for development. Um, Okay. Mm, this is our platform elaborated for us, uh, technology. This platform we, we full automate uh, automation and uh, and uh, sensors. As you can see on this uh, on this picture, we are using photovoltaic to um, to power this structure because uh, in this uh, by using sensors we are using also energy. And uh, as you can see here, uh, we also elaborated uh, artificial frame, uh, like, you know, this American frame, so New Zealand frames, uh, which are quite popular right now, but uh, with our uh, frame, this is absolutely a different system. And we have to, to use this energy to uh, leak out uh, honey uh, of, 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 this, of this structure. Uh, so it looks like that. Uh, and uh, this uh, whole structure uh, contains um, one, two, ten, yeah, ten beehives. It can be treated as a, you know, like a, a intelligence center for uh, apiary. So that is why, you know, for small apiaries, this is very uh, expensive process. But, you know, for big apiaries, uh, more than 200 uh, uh, I think this is an economical reason to buy it and to control the whole API because this is only one intelligent system inside uh, this API. Uh, and uh, collecting data uh, to, to our uh, central computer and being analyzed in a university. And based upon this, uh, we can produce procedures, for, or procedures first for this uh, beekeepers, uh, procedures for the universities to elaborate new Let's, let's say uh, technologies, uh, new uh, procedures uh, for health to protect disease and procedures for veterinaries to act immediately if something happens, uh, like with American food broad. Uh, as I previously stated, a uh, big problem in our country. Yeah. Uh, this is comparison of uh, our artificial frame with, uh, uh, with uh, existing one American solution. Uh, so please go through. Uh, uh, question could be why we are going to use artificial frame instead of using you know, traditional ones. Uh, the question is uh, simple because by using this artificial frame, we are not interfering, interfering too much inside the uh, behind uh, because every interference uh, Takes you know this is stress for uh, bees, but also uh, uh, we can contaminate uh, uh, families, which is uh, which happens uh, very often. So by using this, uh, this is quite autonomous, and uh, we can take data quite pure uh, from this from our sensors. And uh, uh, by using this, we are uh, able to. Uh, find a uh, you know a way of uh, how bees are behaving inside what problems they have but also uh, what is the impact and balance between uh, honeybees and white uh, pollinators uh, and even uh, what is the impact of pesticides uh, on our uh, honeybees uh, of course by starting our system and uh, the whole project uh, we uh, we sent questioning to, to to beekeepers. We sent questioning to seventy nine beekeepers, mm, statistically chosen uh, to get information. Uh, what are interested in? What uh, we should deliver uh, to uh, to to support them? Uh, so this is sent to question to to to, to beekeeper, beekeepers, but also uh, we had uh, many discussions, uh, meetings, uh, workshops with universities uh, uh, to, to work with this project and what is the uh, important for science, science, nature, and economy. 
Uh, so as I said, we are working with uh, Sci Life Science University, but also we started cooperating with Munich Un Technical Munich University um, um, uh, in Sicilia University, in, in Spain, uh, Greece, uh, Germany, Sweden, and, 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 and Poland. So um, the next step would be to start this project with uh, to, to start uh, working with uh, uh, Horizon Europe uh, to, to to get funding possibly, but we know this is fierce competition in that. But we'll do our best, uh, and uh, this is very uh, this is first way of um, working together as a consortium. And in this uh, Horizon Europe, uh, we have to be consortium. So that that's why uh, I am very happy to be here with you. And uh, because I, I see this as a really value added, and uh, uh, if you see any potential um, way of cooperating together, please let me know, uh, and we can discuss it. We can work together, especially regarding this uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, okay, this is the last slide. Uh, thank you, guys, for for this uh, for, for your time.